Shalom, shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malachia. All right, coming in uh, with another lesson today. And uh, <clears throat> this lesson is going to be and telling and going into uh, a time like no other. You know, going into Jacob's trouble. <coughs> uh, this time that we are uh, approaching, all right, because we are in these last days and it is written in the scriptures, all right, that this day... Well, that these days are coming. Uh, let me get a, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me get a one quick preset right quick. Uh, this is the book. Uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 22. For these be the days of vengeance. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. <coughs> okay. All right, we believe through the spirit, all right, based off the prophecies, based off everything that's going on, that this is that last generation, all right, till we see the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, return back, okay? The days of vengeance are here. All right, Esau Edom, he's putting out all his different um, movies out, all his different uh um, uh, TV shows. He's putting every he's putting everything out in in, in the spotlight. All right, because he's got he's gotten to the point to where he doesn't even truly even care anymore. All right, he has most of the world. All right, in his in his hands. All right, like the scripture says in Job nine and twenty four, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. All right, many of the other different nations they're already following after <clears throat> Esau Edom. All right, but many of them are trying to break off from Esau Edom, but you still have our people, okay? You so-called blacks, all right? You so-called uh, Latinos, you so-called Native American Indians, all right? <clears throat> you have not truly broken away, okay, from this devil. You have not broken away from the so-called white man, all right, and his agenda, okay? And his agenda is to bring in his. <coughs> <coughs> to like it to bring in his nwo okay and within that nwo it's really to eradicate all right you niggas all right you're gonna be out of here man all right but first uh by him doing so he's gonna have to implement that uh rfid chip all right which goes into the motb uh system all right that he is creating currently all right as we uh are speaking so many of our people don't understand the times that we are in. <clears throat> like it says in the book of Luke, uh, I believe it's chapter 19, but we don't got to get it. But how it says that how our enemies all right, are, are going to come past all right, a trench around us. All right. And that they and that they was going to lay us even all right, into the ground. All right. Talking about the time of 70 AD. All right. And also talking about the time of now. Okay. When the Romans, all right, and they came, all right, and sacked, all right, our people, all right. How much more in the modern day times, in modern day Rome, okay, all right, these modern day uh, Edomites coming to uh, compass us, all right, with this trench that they have built around us. They got control over, over the media, <clears throat> control over the information, they have control over the food, they have control over all the different resources. All right, they have control over the money. All right, they're at the point to where they basically control your mind. They got you. All right, and many of our people are going to follow after their ways, and they don't understand that this, all right, by them being led away, all right, to the slaughter, okay, <coughs> many of them are going to have a hard time in the times to come. All right, so let's jump to, uh, the book of Ezekiel 7. And I know I had a point earlier, but it, it escaped me. But we can get back to it. 
But it's the book of Ezekiel 7 and verse 3. Okay? And this same thing that happened in the time of Ezekiel is going to happen again in these last days. All right? It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 3. All right? Because the Lord has sent Ezekiel, all right, all right, to have uh, Ezekiel, all right, prophesy unto Israel, all right, based off their uh, disobedience. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 3. <coughs> it says, Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. All right, so all the different abominations that you see our people doing, such as the men, all right, they're sleeping around with the women as well, but they're also sleeping around with these men. This is why you see, uh, I seen a video Apostle Tahar just did, how I believe it was in uh, Texas, I believe it was Texas, um, but how uh, syphilis, all right, is, is running around rampant, all right, with our women, okay, the so-called black woman, <clears throat> and, you know, the statistics, it shows all right, that these women are out here being loose, all right, but a hey, what? The Lord said that what? The Lord was going to recompense them, all right, upon all their abominations. Not only the so-called black woman, but the so-called black man, so-called uh, Latino man, all right, so-called Native American men, and the women also of those different tribes. Okay? The Lord is sending his anger upon you, especially in these last days. And that's just one little aspect of it. You didn't truly get uh, to the to the depths of it when we enter truly into Jacob's trouble. When you wake up, all right, and you see the barricades all around your house. <coughs> when you hear helicopters and you hear the trains, all right, they're shipping people from uh, one city to another. All right. When you got the SWAT in the military walking around the street with guns. Okay, when it ain't no food, all right, when it ain't no water, when it ain't no different type of resources, this is when Esau Edom is going to truly clamp down, all right, on all you Israelites, all right, and it's truly, it's going to be the Lord, it's going to have a spirit on Esau Edom to do it so. Verse 4, and my eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, all right, because the Lord said that way, you have not at all his counsel, um, let me get that right quick in Proverbs. All right, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse uh, 22. It says, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? All right, because you got our people. All right, you Israelites, you love simplicity. All right, you want to have a job. You want to be able to buy a house. You want to have, a, a, you know, the white picket fence with a nice yard, all right? You want to be able to go to the club, go to the movies, all right? This is a simple life. Here it is. The Lord said that he can give you your heart's desire, but you want to be able to reign. I mean, you want to be under the reign of Esau Edom, <clears throat> all right? You're simple. You don't want to come unto this truth and follow after the ways of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, <clears throat> and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. All right. When we on the highways and hedges, all right, we see many of these fools, many of these people who don't want to believe in a true power, true and living power. All right. I had a, the other day when I did lift, okay, for a little while, I had the last ride of the day too. <laughs> all right. It, I, I, he had to be Simeon. I, I, I know Simeon, that tribe there. I, yeah. That, he had to be Simeon. All right, and as he spoke, he said something. But he was drunk. He didn't. I didn't understand nothing he was saying, but he said that I am him or uh, uh, it. He was saying some some shit like that, and he said I am my God. I don't believe in God. I never brought it up to him. You know, I'm just driving him to point A to point B. But he said that I am my own God. He said that I don't believe in God. Oh, like, okay, cool. Well, you know, that's your, you know, that's me saying in my head. I'm like, okay, that's your, you know, that's your way of living. All right. You want to go that way? Go ahead. All right. There's no point in me trying to spit knowledge to someone who's drunk. All right. Someone who already got their mind made up that there is no power. All right. He was liking unto a fool. All right. Like the scripture says, fools hate knowledge. 
verse 23. It says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye refused. All right. The Lord is his prophets on the highways and hedges. All right. Doing these different digital epistles. All right. So on and so forth. <clears throat> okay. The Lord is calling. He's making that calling unto all of Israel. All right. But it's only going to be the elect that's going to hearken. All right. To the words of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. It says, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. All right. None of you, you fucking niggas never regarded, man. You still want to go to the clubs. You still want to go party. You still want to go do the things in the entertainment of this world. You want to go travel. You want to go do all these things and forgot about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. You didn't regard the words of the Lord. All right. Which was your safe haven. All right. In the times to come. It says, but ye have set not, slot, but ye have set at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. <coughs> Verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Okay. The Lord is going to mock. All right. You Israelites that did not listen and did not hearken unto the words of the Lord in that time. Let's jump back into Ezekiel 7 and verse 4. And mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. The Lord set not at all his counsel unto you. All right, so he's not going to have no pity unto you in that time. He's going to turn his back away from you. It says, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. <coughs> you see, our people don't want to understand the, 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 the times that we're in. They don't want to understand that, you know, when the Lord starts to bring the judgments, okay, it's, it's going to be too late for them. All right? That's why the Lord said he's going to mock when their fear cometh. The, hey, man, the Lord is the king of terrors. He's going to ready to bring terrors all right until our people all right that they would have never known verse 5 thus saith the lord power and evil and only evil behold is come and evil that 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 evil going into bad times man these bad times that are coming we can already see many of our people be uh, uh swept away man like, like I, I quoted earlier, going into that Luke 19, how they're going to be laid even to the ground. <coughs> I remember a couple years back, I had a, uh, a dream, all right? And I, 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 I seen Jake getting laid down. I seen little children getting ran over by tanks, women being raped, people screaming, running. And I seen our people, they was helpless. They had no help. And there was nothing I can do, all right? The soldiers was walking around on foot. It was helicopters. It was dogs around. Our people was getting, they was getting mowed the fuck down in that dream. And it always stuck with me, man. I remember I did a, I did a lesson on it. It's somewhere on my page like a couple years back. All right. I remember it, man. Like it was yesterday. And that was, I believe that through the spirit, all right, that that was a, a, a vision that the Lord showed me. That's what's going to truly happen to our people. You had Elder Yashawan, but he had that dream. How he's seen our people getting decimated. All right. And it's other different brothers that who had similar dreams. You even got these heathens having dreams about the times to come. So showing you that Jacob's trouble is not a, a, a thing to, to be playing with. It's not a thing that is light. It's a thing that is truly heavy. All right. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is getting ready to close the chapter. All right. Of this book. All right, upon, all right, uh, this, this place. Verse 6, an end is come, the end is come, it watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. See, the time of Jacob's trouble, man, it is quickly, quickly approaching us. All right, like the apostles always say, <coughs> it's not going to be a need for us to get on the video and to tell you when Jacob's trouble is. All right. 
We're not going to have to explain it to you. It's, it's going to be too A. It's going to be you on your own at that point because you didn't listen. Verse 7, the morning is come unto thee, O thou, the, o thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come. The day of trouble is near. See, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has a spirit on his prophets to tell you that the time of trouble is near. But only unto the let the Lord said that what? The day of trouble is at hand, but he will deliver you. But for the ones who don't believe in his truth, the ones who don't want to hearken unto the words of the Lord. All right. The trouble, the day of trouble is near for you. The end of your 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 being married, the 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 uh, the end of you being married, the end of you being happy, the end of you being in abundance and, 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 and loving this system. It's getting ready to come to an end. The whole digital uh, platform that this devil is creating is is coming quickly, man. Here it is, uh, I believe uh, I believe it's Elder Yashawamba and the other brothers from uh, the prophets of Babylon, they did a lesson going to go into how the banks are right, uh, uh, are closing banks. Not only closing banks, but they're freezing accounts to where you can't get any money out. No withdrawals. Esau Edom is in the, in the making of his plans right now to switch everything digital. And when we have these blackouts, man, that's when everything, that's when all hell is going to truly break uh, break loose. The Lord's going to unleash all these spirits out here, man. We're going to see some shit out here, man. And you niggas going to be getting mowed down right along with all this shit. How is it that these uh, different, no, no, I think it said uh, another article that I seen. It was anonymous um, company that bought over, I forgot how much millions uh, worth of land. All right, you already got Bill Gates owning most of the uh, land. All right, so guess what? What do you think is going to happen to your food, man? He said, you will, uh, what that, that slogan, you will own nothing and be happy. See, it's the time where we coming in. Let me go back into Ezekiel 7 and get ready to close out. The morning has come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time has come. The day of trouble is near. And not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish mine anger upon thee. And I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. See all the things of what you've done. All right, you Israelites. All right. And you're not repenting back unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh all right, the Lord said that He's getting ready to recompense you all the your all your doings. All right, you reap what you sow. All these things are coming. All right, in these last days, man. And as we see the time of Jacob's trouble as it as it is approaching quickly, okay, more quickly, more frequently, we can see it. All right, but you got to have the spiritual eye to be able to discern the times. All right, because Esau Edom mostly already got you niggas, man. All right, and when he when it's time for him to bring in that chip, man, a lot of y'all gonna you gonna take it, man. But we are gonna see, man. All right, we are gonna see who the ones who's gonna be faithful, the ones who's gonna last, the ones who's gonna endure until the end. You know, Lord willing, all right, it be me, my family, the brothers, all right, the elders, the apostles, all right, all the ones who's truly believing, all right, and the remnant, all right, the elect, the ones who believe. That's why we we always pray for the elect. All right, we always pray that we are the elect. We pray, all right, that we, the Lord, keep the spirit on us to endure, all right, until the end. All right, because the times that we are about to approach is getting ready to be a time like no other, as the scripture says in the book of Daniel 12, in the book of uh, Jeremiah 30. All right, so it's the time to keep our, uh, uh, our minds and our wits with us, all right, to keep this truth and this wisdom and knowledge and understanding with us. All right, and not to let no man take our crown. All right, and to build our faith up. All right, before these times come, because it's getting ready to be a time like no other, and we're getting ready to see many of our people perish. All right, in that day. All right, so hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwatim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh.
Bahashem Yahavashai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant, Malachia. Shalom.